This video serves to give you some intuition as to how particle filter localization works. Imagine the following. In the world you have a robot and this robot can detect distances to landmarks or beacons. We can see where it is, but the robot does not know where it is. It is completely lost. It can only detect the distance to each landmark indicated by the blue squares. The robot has a map of the world and knows where the landmarks are situated. The software now places thousands of particles, in random locations and with random headings, in the map. Each particle is a simulation with the same characteristics as the real robot. This means that the particles simulate the movement model of the real robot and can also simulate the sensors of the real robot, in this case detecting distances to landmarks. Remember that sensor and movement noise is also simulated. Everything the actual robot does, with regards to movement, is also applied to each particle. This also includes applying the noise model, in other words, if the robot moves forward, each particle moves forward the exact same distance as the real robot, plus some noise, and, if the robot turns, each particle is also turned by the exact same angle as the robot, plus some noise. The software now calculates the distance to each landmark. It then compares each particle's calculated distance values with the distance values received from the actual robot. If the compared distances are the same or very close to one another, there is a probability that that specific particle is situated in the map where the robot is in the real world. If the compared distances differ by too much, the particle does not indicate the robot's possible position on the map and in the world and are removed from the list of probable particles. With only one landmark all the particles which are the same distance from the landmark as the robot, is a possible location for the actual robot in the real world. Since only one landmark is available the robot cannot properly localize and can be anywhere on the circle as indicated by the particles with high probabilities. As the robot executes its move and sense cycle, resampling occurs where new particles are selected from the high probability particles based on a specific algorithm. These newly selected particles will have some noise added to their pose before being placed in the map. Clusters will start to form at possible locations of where the actual robot is after a couple of move and sense iterations. When new landmarks are added, the particles will be able to localize better since more points of reference can be used to localize. After a couple of move and sense iterations one cluster should form indicating the position of the robot. The pose of the actual robot is now determined by calculating the weighted sum of all the particles found in the cluster, and if there are multiple clusters, in the biggest cluster. The robot can even be kidnapped and is able to localize itself after only a few cents and move iterations. The particle filter localization algorithm is relatively easy to implement and it scales well. As an added bonus, it is also not limited to a discrete movement model like other probabilistic methods.